So, Rashmi, in the case of Gillette, we had a company that asked designers to come up with a product that would expand their market. But I think you also have an example of an individual coming to a designer with a need which led to a new product. Yes, it's an interesting story from the world of ergonomic design. Uh, Sam Farber, a manufacturer of cookware, watched his wife Betsy struggle with arthritic pain, especially when she was working in the kitchen. So, he got in touch with a design firm called Smart Design and he asked them to develop a range of kitchen tools which would be easier for her to use. This led to a new line of kitchen implements, the OXO Good Grips range. Kitchen products whose winning feature was their ergonomic handles. I know, I have a peeler at home, it's really good. Isn't it? So, Betsy's special needs led to the creation of a new product range which became a new line of business for the manufacturer. You know, for quality results like this to emerge from a design exercise, the manufacturer and the designer must form an effective partnership and then they work like allies and good work emerges. For more about this, do go to the next tab. <laughs>